So, um, hope all of you are uh, in good health and uh, uh, doing your best, uh, whatever you are doing, wherever you are. Uh, so, we continue uh, from the uh, text of Bodhicharya Avatara. Uh, we are on the sixth chapter, which is on patience. And um, uh, we are uh, the stanza number 90. Uh, and this is about, you know, getting angry and uh, uh, hatred uh, when um, somebody uh, obstructs uh, me or my people uh, getting um, uh, praise, veneration, fame, you know, good words and things like that. Um, and this is a very important thing, this is a very serious matter, you know. Uh, everybody wants that people talk very highly of ourselves, they praise us. Uh, we are very much we want to become famous, we want to be popular, you know, if somebody uh, tries to uh, obstruct that, uh, we become very upset and angry. Uh, now here, uh, what he's talking about is um, uh, that uh, if uh, people uh, say good things about us, if we have good name, good fame, popularity, uh, it's not that that's not bad, that, that's not good, it's good, it's very good, it's wonderful. Uh, but uh, it is not uh, that we have to be so upset and so angry and so you know hateful uh, when some people you know say bad things about us or uh, you know do something that give us um, uh, uh, do something that would obstruct us from getting this praise and veneration and fame. Because <clears throat> uh, if we become too much for that, and if we become too um, too attached to our name and fame and uh, you know uh, kind of uh, good good things. Uh, then uh, we will never be able to get uh, peace of mind. Uh, because there will be always somebody uh, who would also, you know, not like us, who would also uh, try to obstruct us uh, from getting, you know, veneration, praise, fame, popularity. Uh, there is always some people who would try to, you know, not so nice, try to, try to be not so nice to us. Um, if we are doing something good, we are doing something uh, worthwhile, beneficial, positive, uh, then uh, some people who would understand, who would appreciate that, would appreciate that. 
And however good we do things, however we positive things we do, however you know uh, good we are, uh, some people will be not happy. Sometimes some people, some people would be more unhappy and more angry because we are doing good things and we are doing something you know, good and positive and helpful. So if we get too much angry at them and then you know, try to focus on that, we waste our time. You know. It's like uh, fighting at our shadow. You know, we can never win it because you know there will always somebody doing these things. And the more we are angry and upset, the more we waste our energy and our uh, negative, you know, our our time, energy and you know positive qualities there you know uh, it's 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 very useless because we can never win there and also it's very useless because instead of focusing on those we should focus on doing our own positive things uh, this is the main understanding you know uh, if somebody is doing something not so nice, uh, doing something wrong, doing something against us. You know, that's not. Well, it's not to say that we should not do something uh, to um, to change that, to uh, to remedy that. We can also do something about that, but we should not exhaust ourselves, or we should not become so upset and angry and you know completely we should not allow ourselves to be overpowered and overcome by anger hatred and you know uh, uh, negative feelings and then get you know kind of trapped there it's not it's not good that's why it is says veneration praise and fame serve not to increase merit or my span of life. You know, because if I get caught up in my anger and hatred toward those people, then I create negative negative emotion and negative deeds. You know, the more I I hold on to those negative emotions like anger and hatred the less positive deed, the less merit I do, the less, the more negative action I do, whether it's in my mind or speech or action. So therefore I don't increase my merit, but I decrease it. Instead, if I do not indulge in this negative emotion like anger and hatred and ill will, but take it as a as a practice. Take it as uh, as an exercise where I can uh, where I can practice uh, patience, tolerance, and uh, mm, compassion, mm, and then focus on my own positive deeds. So therefore, the more positive deeds the more positive I become, the less effect of their obstructions to my fame and to my name and to my veneration. Uh, by getting angry and upset and try to fight with them, I would not increase my veneration, increase my praise, increase my fame of anything like that, but it will decrease. And on top of that, my span of life, you know, as we all know, that if we become too negative, you know, negative emotion with anger, hatred, you know, uh, ill will, and you know, kind of hold, brood on that, uh, 
get very upset and hurt by that, that will, you know, that will be bad for my health. That will be bad, therefore, for my span of life also. The more joyous I am, the more forgiving I am, the more compassionate I am, the more joyful I am, the better it is for my health and therefore for my length of life also. Bestowing neither health nor strength. So, by this kind of negative emotions and holding on to that and becoming a slave of my negative emotions, whether it's anger, jealousy, you know, too much kind of uh, uh, arrogance uh, or whatever, you know, uh, hatred. Uh, it is not going to give me neither health nor strength. You know. It is it's against my it will decrease my strength, it is decrease my health. Uh, and nothing for the body's ease. It will not be, you know, it will give me um, less uh, relaxation to the body. It will guess, can, it can create sleeplessness, it can create uh, high blood pressure, tension, all kinds of things. So therefore, it is very bad for me. And by understanding this, you know, this is no good, it's not useful, it's, it's, it's bad for me, and it's, it doesn't a actually uh, serve the purpose of, uh, you know, becoming myself, getting more veneration, praise and fame. To understand that, then I don't react. And I know that I should not react like that. And if I am reacting like that, with hatred and anger and things like that, immediately I should say, no, this is not the way. This is not the right path that I should go. This should be the wrong way. I should change my tactics. It's my, my way of reacting. Then, Stanza number 91. If I am wise in what is good for me, I'll ask what benefit this bring. For if it's entertainment I desire, I might as well resort to alcohol and cards. You know, some will say that, you know, if somebody uh, is doing something against me, or saying something against me, or obstructing something against me or my people, and then I get angry and upset and I say something bad, I do something bad, and then I see that it gives me, you know, like a satisfaction. It gives me some kind of a sense of satisfaction. I've shouted against them, I've uh, wrote something really nasty against them, I'm very angry, so therefore now I'm satisfied that I did it. You know, I feel released, relieved, kind of. That's for a very short time, you know. If I'm very angry and very upset and then I kind of pour it out and I get, you know, uh, I get a little kind of uh, uh, relief or release. But that's very short-lived, you know. And if I do that, they will, they, when they know that it is hurting me, they do more. Those who, who are a, my enemies, who want to harm me, they will do more. Then you have to be in this kind of negative state of mind all the time, you know. And that is not for my benefit. That's, that's not good for me in the long run. That's not good for me in the short run. That doesn't really benefit me. So therefore, I should not fall into this trap of just one little kind of satisfaction by I've done, I've said something bad, I've done something against them. So therefore, now I'm satisfied. 
that is is wrong way. That's not uh, not truly useful. That's something very temporary, which you know, uh, which will be lost, you know, because there will be again something, and then you have to do again, and then again, and again, and again. There is no end to that. Uh, so therefore, you know, it's like, uh, you know, uh, if I'm upset, then I take some alcohol, mm-hmm. and then the alcohol kind of, uh, uh, I'm kind of uh, uh, drunk, and then, you know, I go to sleep, or I feel, for some time, I feel a little bit of peace of mind. But that's not a solution. You know? That's not a solution. That's a very temporary solution because as soon as I'm, you know, I'm free from the effect of this alcohol, I have again the same, same emotions, same reactions, and the same pain and you know, negative feeling. And then I will take alcohol again, and if I do that, you know, eventually I become an alcoholic, and you know, uh, that. I can actually completely destroy my own life, and that's not helping me. That's helping my enemies. So therefore, you know, or even like um, playing cards or doing something, you know, like um, what you call it, gambling and things like that. You distract ourselves. That's not the way. You know, that's not the way. We should find a, a more uh, long-term, true, deeper solution to that, and that is changing my attitude. I try to make myself understand that I don't, I should not be uh, wavered. I should not become so uh, so strongly affected by those things that people do to annoy me, and. Even if they try to make me angry, hurt, and hate, then I would not be. You know, they would not be able to do that. But I will keep on doing my my positive things. Be more peaceful. Be steadily on my path, and you know, doing more and more positive things, so that you know. They can't take away the, my peace of mind, my joy. Um, they cannot uh, drive me out of my my road. Um, they, they cannot kind of uh, put me off the road. Uh, if if I can do that, that's much more, you know, better solution and. Uh, Better way of dealing with these things. So that's 91. So I think I will stop here and um, I wish you all the best and uh, then see you soon. So, to send you room, which you must be upon us, you see, upon your body, upon your own, you can't be what you sent in your party and your party, and your little, as you know, you know, no more. Don't do your own, my precious. Sennam dai tanti